In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to find your saved passwords in Google Chrome. So, you know how when you log into a website in Google Chrome for the first time, it offers to save your password so that you won't have to type it in in the future, and then if you choose to save it, your password will automatically be there the next time you try to log into that website. Well, that's all really handy, but if you ever need to manually type one of those passwords in the future, and you can't remember what the password actually is because Google always fills it in for you, there's actually a way that you can go and see all your saved passwords in Google Chrome. And in this video, that's what Timmy's going to show you how to do. To find your saved passwords in Chrome on your computer, all you need to do is click on the three dots in the top right corner up here. So click there, and then in this menu that appears, click Settings. And now you'll be in Google Chrome Settings, and you'll find your passwords over in the side here by clicking on Autofill in this menu. And now you'll see Password Manager here. So now you can click Password Manager, and now you'll see all your passwords. So if we scroll down here, this is a list of all the websites you've saved passwords for in Chrome. So you see the website here, and your username or email address for that website, and your password here. But your password is in dots, as you can see like that, so it's hidden. But if you want to see what your password is, all you need to do is click on the eye icon next to it, so if Timmy wants to see Timmy's Amazon password, Timmy will click on this eye icon here. And now your computer will do something to verify who you are. It might look a bit different on your computer, but you'll just have to either put your finger on the fingerprint reader or show it your face if your computer has fingerprint or face unlock. Or if it doesn't have any of that, you just have to enter your computer password you don't need to enter the password for this website or anything like that, because that would defeat the purpose. You just need to enter the computer password that you use to log into your computer. So Timmy will actually just scan the fingerprint reader because Timmy's computer has a fingerprint reader. And now, as you can see here, the password is visible. And this is a bit of a long password because it's ended it so we can't see the whole password, it's got a few dots after it. But if your password is long, you just need to click on the password like that, so it's selected and highlighted. And then press the arrow key on your keyboard. So press the arrow to the right key, and the password will slide along a bit, and you'll see the rest of it. Of course, that's only for long passwords like this. If you have a really short password, you can just click the I, and you'll need your finger or password or face again, and then you'll see the entire password, as you can see here. So that's really cool, and if you just wanted to see your password to tell someone or type it in somewhere else or write it down or something like that, you can now see your password here, and you know what it is. But if your password is a password like this, and you don't feel like typing that in somewhere, you can actually copy it very easily as well. Just click on the three dots next to the password. You don't even have to click on the I button. So Timmy might do it with this website instead. As you can see, the password is still hidden and looks like dots, but you can click the three dots next to it here, and then click Copy Password and it will say password has been copied. So now you can go and right click and click paste anywhere and just paste your password somewhere else. So if you need to put your password somewhere else on your computer, you can just copy it very easily like that without ever having to type it. So that's all really cool. But if you're like Timmy, you probably have a lot of passwords for a lot of different websites, all saved in Google Chrome. And if that's the case, you probably don't want to have to scroll down through all of them to find your one specific password. And you don't have to. There is a search passwords box here. 
So you can just start typing the name of the site. So if you're looking for your Netflix password, you could just start typing net. And now down here, it will show you only the passwords for the websites that have net in the name. So only Netflix has appeared here. And now you could click on the eye to view the password. And that's all there is to it. Now you can find the password you're looking for and go ahead and do whatever you wanted to do with it. But if you want to find your saved passwords in the Google Chrome mobile app on your phone, it's basically the same. On your phone in Google Chrome, just tap on the three dots in the top right hand corner. It doesn't matter where you are in Chrome, you could be in a tab or looking at all your tabs or anything else. So just tap on the three dots here and now tap settings. And now in settings, you'll see passwords down here. So you can just tap passwords. And now if you scroll down here, you'll see all your saved passwords, just like on your computer. And if you want to view one of the passwords, you would just tap on the website you want to view. So maybe canva.com. And now you'll see your username here and your password here. And your password is hidden. So you just need to tap on the I here and you'll have to verify it's you again, just like on the computer. So most phones have fingerprint or face unlock. So you'll probably just need to do that. It might look a bit different on your phone, but it will be something like that. Or if your phone doesn't have any of that, you can just type in your code and now you can see your password. So now you can read the password and see what it is. Or if you want, you can just tap the copy icon here and it will say password copied. And now you could go and paste it somewhere on your phone. And if you want to search for a password on your phone, instead of scrolling down through all your passwords, you can just come into passwords here, tap on the search icon, and then type the site you want to find the password of. So that's all there is to it. And hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below. And Tim will see you in the next video.